Oh my. Well, we definitely have some changes. Welcome back to the Oil Burning Corolla channel. This is the channel where I subject this Corolla behind us to all sorts of chemical experiments trying to get it to stop burning oil. Let's do a quick recap. Berryman's B12 Chem Tool reduced our consumption to about a quart and a quarter in 800 to 1,000 miles. After a second treatment of Berryman's, we didn't seem to see any more improvement, so we moved on and tried ATS 505 CRO, and we actually saw no improvement from that either. A lot of commenters said we should have warmed the engine up first, or we should have run the engine longer, or we should have poured it down the spark plug holes to start with, stuff like that. Those are all good points, but you know, I followed the instructions on the bottle. It is what it is. I do have one more bottle where maybe we will do some sort of experiments like that in the future. But today we're doing Yamalube Ring Free Plus. So let's get into it. Yamalube Ring Free Plus fuel additive improves power and efficiency in two and four stroke engines. Exclusive synthetic formula, specially formulated for E10 fuels, corrosion protection, removes deposits. Directions, most effective when added to fresh fuel. Operational use, use this product on a continuous basis to provide maximum protection against deposits. One ounce ring-free plus to every 10 gallons of fresh gasoline. Shock treatment, consult your dealer for the Yamaha internal engine cleaner treatment service. I actually looked this up and it, the shock treatment is two ounces for every ounce of fuel. I think we're gonna one up this since it recommends one ounce per gallon of gasoline we're gonna put in one ounce per quart of oil. So we're gonna add four ounces of this to the crankcase, but we're also going to add two ounces per gallon of gasoline in the gas tank. So a kind of double whammy. We're gonna be acting from the top and the bottom at the same time. So hopefully this will be a double shock. Let's see what this smells like. Fresh container. Hmm, smells like paint thinner. All right, let's add some to the crankcase. So this cup right here is two ounces. So I'm gonna fill it up twice and pour it in the crankcase. Oh, look at that. It's actually thicker than I thought it would be. Ooh. Maybe I need a funnel. So that's probably a little less than four ounces. We'll just do a little to grow on there. Now let's check the oil and top it off if necessary. I'll just add a splash if I have any oil. Yes, had a brand new jug. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Let's double check. Splash was too much. We we're actually right there, so well above the full mark. Some people think that's bad. Some people think that's good. What we'll do is we'll run this in the engine for a while and then put fresh oil in it and see if the oil usage has slowed. All right, let's go get some gas. Reset the oil trip. Also, let's see how much gas this thing takes. Fuel, it has a tank capacity of 11 gallons. So, we want to add 22 ounces of Yamalu Bring Free to the gas. Okay, an interesting turn of events. The check engine light has gone off. A couple of important points though. I have not yet taken the car to the gas station to put Yamalu Bring Free in the gas tank. There is four ounces of Yamalu in the crankcase right now. When I read the codes, I did not reset the check engine light and I did not disconnect the battery. I drove the car probably four miles, maybe six miles yesterday. This was after reading the codes and after adding the Yamalu Bring Free to the crankcase and the engine light was still on. I cranked it this morning. I believe it was on when I cranked it. I let it warm up for a couple of minutes while I was in the house. Came out, started driving it. 
got halfway up my street and noticed the check engine light was off. So, I don't think it burned out. It went off before on the last go round, but I didn't get to check the codes when it was off, so I'd like to check the codes now if I get a chance. But I have to get back and run my daughter to school. I also need to go ahead and put the gas in it. So we're gonna stop and do that and add the ring free, the 22 ounces of ring free to the gas as well. But just wanted to get that data logged in case it's important. So I've gone 18 miles. The check engine light was probably off by seven miles into driving it after adding it to the crankcase. Not that that's related. It's just an interesting turn of events. Okay, so this is how much fluid we have in here. I'm gonna try to get about exactly 22 ounces in the gas tank. So we should have had 28 ounces left in here. So I should have about six ounces left when I get the 22. Close enough. Oh, I can feel the idle fluctuating already. Trip A, that's my fuel, we'll reset. There's my oil. There's my regular mileage. So the idle is still bouncing, so the EVAP is still an issue. All right, let's read the codes while the check engine light is not on. Let's do the check engine light this time, and then we'll do all system modules. This should be a lot faster than last time. Mileage one eight nine 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 one. Right now there are zero confirmed trouble co codes. There are two pending trouble codes. Catalyst system efficiency and EVAP system incorrect purge flow. But no confirm trouble codes. Interesting. Let's do all system modules. I'll pause y'all while this works because it'll take about five minutes, I think. Okay, so we got two codes found. This is scanning all system modules. Zero confirmed trouble codes. So we don't even have that thermostat code at the moment. Also, my wife did about 200 miles of interstate driving yesterday so 200 of that 261.5 at least is interstate driving so let's see how much oil she used so i drove the car this morning it's warm been sitting for at least five minutes looks like the oil is now perfectly at the top dot yep right at the top dot so she did use some oil because if you recall it was about a quarter inch above the top dot so that's probably a quarter of a quart of oil i guess in 250 miles since we are at the top dot right now let's go ahead and reset the oil trip reset that and see how it goes remember right now the crankcase has four ounces of yamalu bring free in it and we are still working on our tank of gas with Yamalu bring free in it. We are at 235.8 miles on the gas. Now I don't know if this is a placebo effect or what, but I just feel like this has a lot more power than it did before. We are just 26-ish miles in. Haven't gone one mile since I added the stuff to the fuel.
again, that could be a placebo effect. The engine light stayed off until my wife was about 16 miles into a trip to Columbia from Greenville, which is about 90 miles. And then it stayed on the whole time she was in Columbia. There was a lot of starting and stopping the engine, so the engine was turned on and off several times and the light stayed on. And she got back to Greenville and took my son to pick up some food at a restaurant. And when she cranked the car, the engine light had gone off again. And it stayed off, you know, until she got home. And then this morning I cranked it and the engine light came back on. So why now? after these years would the check engine light be going on and off on and off rather than staying on even though for several years it has stayed on another thing i want to mention about this yamalu ring free experiment is the exhaust smell is terrible it's like a really strong oil burning smell mixed with you know some sort of acrid chemical smell in fact, it's so bad, you know, several people who've been around the car riding in it, especially if we even stop at a stoplight, if we have the fresh air intake on, like for the heat or whatever, even blow it on low, you feel like you're being choked. So I don't know if it's because it has a lot of oil in it too. It looked like it was a fairly thick chemical. It looked like it poured as thick as 10W30 oil, to me at least. So I'm wondering, is it the oil content in the Yamalube that's burning and smells like the oil? And then of course the chemicals that give it the acrid smell, or is it something else? We're starting to get low on fuel. So we'll soon see if after we refill the tank, if the smell goes away, we'll know it was the chemical in the fuel. There's the gas, there's the oil, there's the mileage, and the gas lights on, we're on empty. Reset the gas. There's the idle fluctuating, of course, as always. Well, there's a first, the engine stalled out. So now we are relatively Yamalube ring-free free in the gas tank. So let's scope the cylinders and see if we notice any changes and do a compression test. There's the oil level, still at the top dot. Spark plug number one, number two, number three. These are looking a little more tan than they were before, aren't they? They were white. Number four. One, two, three, four. Four! Here we go down spark plug hole number one. There is cylinder number one. Oh my. Well, we definitely have some changes. There's a little oil in there, but the cylinder, oh my goodness. The piston looks brand new, except for that little bit of oil residue. Yeah, still got some oil. So Yamalu Bring Free definitely made some changes. Let's go down and 
cylinder number four. Wow. <laughs> Got some oil in there, but it really cleaned up those pistons. All right, let's do two and three. So, here's number two. Number two doesn't look as clean as it looked in the last scoping, I think, because I thought number two looked completely clean. Wow, that is something else. Let's look at number three. Again. That's probably the dirtiest of all of them. See a little more residue around the, the rim there. But Yamalube Ring Free definitely does some cleaning. Still, we have oil on top of the cylinders. Now, last time I scoped, let me just say that the engine had been sitting all night, so any oil had drained down. The engine was cold. This time, I was driving the car a couple hours ago, so just throwing that data in there. You saw we're still at the top dot on the dipstick. I'm just gonna glance at the mileage really quick one more time to just see if we can get a handle on what we're using at the moment. So we've gone 125 miles since I've reset the oil tripometer and it looks like so far we haven't used any oil but you could see there is a lot of oil residue on top of the pistons. I always forget which one this is. It's like 225 to 230 on cylinder number one. Definitely 235 or higher, almost 240 on cylinder number two. As usual, cylinder number three is the lowest with what looks like 220. And I am performing this test at wide open throttle, as was suggested by a few people. And it looks like a good 230 on cylinder number four. Well, there you have it. There's the compression test after Yamalu bring free in the fuel for an entire tank. The shock treatment of two ounces per gallon of gas. Now, I know this isn't very likely, but something else I also want to point out. The Yamalu in the gas tank, you know, it was 22 ounces of Yamalu, which looked like a pretty thick oil. Literally, the Costco is two and a half, three miles from where I live. So I don't know if that's enough to use all the fuel in the fuel line from the gas tank to the engine. Probably not because it's mostly downhill. So a lot of that oil on top of the pistons, it could be from the Yamalube treatment in the gas, but I know that's unlikely since this has a history of having oil on top of the pistons. I'm just throwing that out there just in case. Also, I've been letting it run until I was pretty sure that all the Yamalube has been run out of the fuel line and now it's running the pure Costco gas and it just smells like normal exhaust. All the acrid smell is gone. I know I usually check this around 300 miles, but my wife had to take it to Columbia. So now it has 429 miles on it. And remember, there's still four ounces in the crankcase, unless we burned it all up. Well, once again, high speed driving on the interstate. Looks like we are about halfway between the dots at 430 miles. And that is at least 200 miles of high speed interstate driving. So, still doing okay. Not doing any worse since the Berryman's treatment. Hopefully for the next week or so, we'll be driving it around town and that'll improve a little bit. There's a chance she'll be taking it to Columbia again next week before we get to the end of this experiment or before we get to the bottom of the dipstick. So um, we'll see how it does. Alright, 
let's check the oil at 512 miles. About two thirds of the way down. Here we are at 615 miles, right about there. Getting pretty close. My wife's about to drive this another 200 miles and it's gonna be high speed interstate driving. I don't know if it's gonna make it to 800 miles. We'll see. See how we're looking at 705 miles. It's early in the morning. The engine has not been run yet. 830 miles. I would say that is pretty close to the bottom dot. Just a smidge above it. We could probably get 850 miles out of it. So let's scope the cylinders again, now that all the Yamalube's been long gone out of the gas tank. I'll show them to you all at one time. One, two, three, and four. I want to see if there's less oil on top of the pistons now that we burned up all the Yamalube ring free out of the fuel. So I'm thinking, you know, the Yamalube ring free look like a fairly oily or heavy petroleum product. So we were using maybe two thirds of a quart of it in the tank of gas. We ran the tank for, you know, like 300 and some miles. So not only are we getting the oil coming up through the piston rings, we also were getting probably a lot of oil through basically the fuel. So that would have made the cylinders look extra oily. So now that it's all burned out of the fuel, let's look again and see what the pistons look like if there's less oil. So here is cylinder number one. Wow. Still looks really good. There is a lot of oil on top of it, but it looks nice and clean. All right, let's look at cylinder number four. Same thing, pretty clean. All right, I think we're gonna have to move the crank to see cylinders number two and three. It's like they're probably pretty high. Yeah, it's pretty close, but you can still see it. I'll back them down just a little bit. Number two. Here is cylinder number three. And just for our records, that was at 
914 miles with Yamalu bring free in the crankcase, but no longer in the fuel since 300 and some miles. So let me know what y'all think about the Yamalu bring free. I mean, the pistons look cleaner than they've ever looked before, in my opinion. So it's kind of making me think if we kept running Yamalu bring free in it, maybe a little in the fuel and a little in the crankcase, it would slowly fix the problem. But since this series is all about experimentation, we need to move on to another chemical for now. And coming up next is the most requested chemical I think I have had so far, except for maybe Berryman's. I don't know, this, this, is, this is way up there. BG EPR, also known as BG 109. So if you wanna see if this will unstick our piston rings, clean our oil drain back holes, and solve all our oil burning woes, if you haven't yet, you might want to subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment below, and I'll see y'all in the next one.